Where's the phone? Where's the Hey, what's good, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. Uh, it's a beautiful Sunday. All my days are beautiful because if I can get up, wake up, you know, have no pains in my body and feel okay, then it's a beautiful day. So she was just talking to the mother and she said next week is my daughter's birthday Ejiba, next week is your birthday happy birthday in advance way <laughs> you see anything <laughs> all right so okay so um every sunday a typical Ghanaian will get up dress up and then go sit in a building they call church and then they worship they worship God. That is so beautiful. But me, I stopped going to church about how many years? Do you know? Do you ten know? years. <laughs> she said ten years. Um, yeah, I stopped going to church for about more than five years because I personally, I know when it comes to religious uh, conversations, people are very keen on their opinions on that but personally my opinion i don't go to church and i don't see why i have to go to church i don't see why i have to go sit in a in a building and tell myself that i'm praising god i believe in god yes that one i won't lie to you about that i believe in god i believe there's someone brought us oh someone brought a good morning someone brought us into this world a supreme being and we may call it god but aside that the rest of the jesus and then going to sit in a church and then the pastors will be taking my money <laughs> they'll be taking my money and say kufina ama you know kufina ama <laughs> my 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 tie is down let me go and fill it over there yes when you get to church there are certain programs that they do, they call Kofinama, meaning uh, depending on the day born, you will come and offer, uh, is it offer tree? Yes. Yes. So it's if. It's done every month. Every month. It is yes. done every month. Yes. So you, you are called First what? Yes, we call every month. Okay. So you are what? Ama. Ama is a Saturday born. Yes. So Saturday born, when you go to church, they will say, okay. All the Monday, all the Monday born, come, come and give money to church, and then the church will take it. Tuesday born, like that, and at the end of the day, they will not account the the money to anybody. They will account to themselves. You see, I have I have a personal reason why I don't go to church. I don't see me developing in a church. I see myself developing by myself and learning how to socialize with human being people. Hey, do I have money for this? Let me see. Yeah, so like I said, personally, I don't see the need to go to church. I'm a believer of myself, a believer of nature. I don't believe that I'm going to... Okay, my tie is down. I woke up taking the family to church because they believe, my wife believes in going to church. And I don't want to impose my... Uh -huh. I don't want to impose my my opinions and my principles on her. She has every right to believe in whatever religion she wants to believe in. But as far as she doesn't also disturb me with it, I am very much okay with it. So basically on a Sunday, people dress up like this. Uh, they, they march to the church. They, they have different services. Okay, They have the morning service and then after it's almost 7 20 and i had to get up i was sleeping i had to get up and drive them to church because that is her belief she wants to go to church so i'm helping her go there but aside that i have no business doing with her again with church so after this you know they go to the first first uh, morning service and then they will close by 9 30 and then another set of people will come to church and then close at 12 or one o'clock. So that is what basically a typical, some typical Ghanaians will do. But some of us who have seen the light, 
Yes, somebody will say, Echo, which light are you talking about? I have seen my own light that going to church won't help me. Um, this is our organization you are with why are you with that religious organization yes like i said when i was when i was young i used to go to church i used to go to church hey kuku yes baba baba yes so i grew up here let me show them give it to me yeah i grew up in this neighborhood yo champion bye bye yeah, I grew up in this neighborhood, so I know a lot of people here. It's called Bacano. One day I'll come here and make a vlog for you. Yes, I love I love this conversation about going to church and why you are Christian and why you are not. But I would love to hear from you, Echo. Well, I'm a Christian or I'm a Muslim because of A, B, C, D. And mind you, one crazy thing that happens is that belonging to a religious body, like what we see around it's causing a lot of crazy things people are fighting because someone is a christian and someone is a muslim and which is pretty bad if we all believe in one creator because uh, i know the muslims call the supreme being allah and then the christians call them god so if we all believe in allah and god and we all believe that jesus is, is a messenger and muhammad is a messenger from from the supreme being why are we fighting to claim ownership of something we are not supposed to be doing? Hey, this is my beautiful Cape Coast. I love showing people Cape Coast. Um, it's an ancient city, formerly the capital town of Ghana. And it was moved to Accra. So now we're just enjoying the old Cape Coast. If you're from Cape Coast, I know you will enjoy this because you say, hey, it's been a while I came around. This place is Jubilee Park. Yeah, this is where we we hold most of uh, national events or programs. Yes, yeah, called. Look at what she's doing. She's going to church and she's doing selfie. <laughs> yes. So this is Cape Coast for you. This is our palace. Yes, Cape Coast Palace or Ugwa Traditional Council's Palace. Yes. Soja, and this one is an old post office. A lot of people have been complaining. Why is it still like this? This road leads to Yo Kensak. <laughs> that brother right there is, is a gem, man. Wherever, wherever you need. So I grew up attending church here. This is Anglican Church. And the Anglican Church is right opposite the Cape Coast Castle. That is the Cape Coast Castle. Yeah, this is the Cape Coast Castle. Here. So you see, Cape Coast has a lot of history. And this it's a library built for the former president of Ghana, Atta Mills, and it's, it has not been used. Nobody is using it. I think they are trying to renovate. When you come to Cape Coast, you might be seeing a lot of these cars, these vehicles called Pragya. Yes. So that is my church. This is where I grew up. This is where I was baptized. And that is the castle. So this, this place holds a lot of history. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, so I'm done with them. The next thing is going to find some friends. Yeah, that is that is a priest going there. Yeah, that is a priest going there. He's going to preach and then um bless people. So I'm done with them. The next thing is to go find some of my friends. Uh, go to a place. Go to a place we can get. Go to a place we can get food, and then get some drinks. It's a weekend. What else? Let's just party. So that is my mentality. That that, that is my philosophy about life. Uh, growing up, you get to learn and see and experience a lot of things. I've, I have learned to become a free thinker, like someone who thinks about how life goes, how things go on well for me and the people around me, but not cotoning to something they call society, because honestly, society doesn't care about you. 
I, I, like I said, I've been saying this in some of my videos that Ghanaians want you to do a lot of things, but Ghanaians don't care where you get the money to do it. Because the society, the mentality in the heads is that, okay, you have to do this, you have to... Now, like I asked her, why do you go to church? She may have a reason, but she didn't want to say it, but why do we go to church? And here in Ghana, if you fail to go to church, people see you as a devil. They see you as a bad person because you don't go sit among a group of people wearing similar shirt or uniform and standing up sitting down opening a hymn book and singing hymns and throwing their money in a bowl and say when i throw this money here god will bless me god will bless me i rather want to give my money to somebody who needs it okay like i've been doing last few days i went on facebook and i was like what can i do to put a smile on your face and it will amaze you the number of people who came into my inbox asking for just a support to to do whatever they want to do and i had to do that i spent about 1200 ghana city just dashing it to people yo no you take it you say you need it take it you need and they were like god bless you this is even enough i'm like yo people need these things i won't throw my money in a church and say they are using it to build a church and the church members are suffering and damn that thing i won't do it i've stopped it and when somebody sees this video, you say, Echo, you, you are a devil. You are, you are telling people not to go to church. I'd rather use my money to help build something that will benefit a lot of people than to say I'm going to church. Hey, I believe in God. Thank you, God, for giving me a beautiful life, for blessing me every day. Uh, when I don't use the word God, I normally use the word God.